As a transgender woman herself, Ruby Carrado knows firsthand about how fearful living in the LGBTQ community can be. Once I transitioned my gender, it felt like I was being punished. And I experienced a lot of discrimination, a lot of violence, and um, overall it just felt like all the doors had closed to me. Originally from El Salvador, Corrado has lived in Washington, D.C. for 27 years and has worked tirelessly as an advocate for the LGBTQ community for the last 20 years. So early on I became an activist for disfranchised communities such as uh, trans people, LGBT, and immigrants who also in D.C. were finding very few opportunities. Corrado created the nonprofit organization Casa Ruby in April 2004 in order to meet the needs of Latina transgenders and LGBTQ immigrants. It has since grown to reach many races and cultures within the LGBTQ community. She was a lot of me all the time. Um, if it wasn't for Ruby, I don't know how I'd be today. Casa Ruby is the only grassroots multicultural LGBTQ center in Washington, D.C and operates as a drop-in center and safe space for LGBTQ people. What seems to be just any ordinary house or business on Georgia Avenue is actually one of the locations for Casa Ruby. In 2015, Corrado created the Casa Ruby Shelter for LGBTQ youth. This shelter has been a safe haven for many LGBTQ youth around the city. It's situated on Georgia Avenue in Northwest Washington, D.C. Corrado has been a positive light in the constant fight for LGBTQ rights. One of the first things that Ruby said to me was, no one should ever go cold, no one should ever go hungry. And I agree with that 100%. As for her legacy, she will be known as this. Ruby loves Ruby. She's a shout out to Ruby singing. For News Vision, I'm Jalen Stovall.